First of all, when you put the plate on, you put it under like this. Take the bolt, drop it in. Then it goes washer, lock washer, nut. One thing to consider is that the end of these ramps are pretty aggressive and they will scratch your tailgate. You know, at least the top of it. All right, a few things to note when you're using these ramps. First of all, I have a backflip on my truck. I'm leaving it on there just for, because this is a demonstration, I don't feel like pulling it off. But when I've hauled the four-wheeler in the past, I removed that. But you want to put something in the front to prevent it from breaking out your, your rear window. Put together like a frame, of a two by four frame, and stick it up there. Not too high, but about even with the bed to keep your four-wheeler from running into your window. You want to line it up with your wheels. Duh. If you have the option to have the front of your truck lifted up so it's not as aggressive of a slope, do that. Don't hit your light and break it. Other thing I like to do is just check the center of my wheelbase. So for example, I'm about 34 inches. Make sure I'm at 34 inches center to center all the way up. Next thing you wanna do is attach your straps. Now the manufacturer recommends a chain, I don't have that. And the chain would hook in here. These hooks don't quite fit, so I just kinda of loop them over and hook in there. I take it down and I attach it to my hitch. So I will do the same the thing. The whole point of those straps or chains is to keep the ramps from flying out as you start to go up. So it's important, don't skip that step. And as for unloading, I've seen some crazy people hold on and just pull it down on their own. Eh, you know, maybe if you had a full ramp with something in the middle, I don't trust myself with that. So I back it down, which some people might think that's crazy, but I also broke out my tail light just setting these things up. 